Hello, I am Enrique Barra, and in this video we are going to see roots, backends, and forms. What are the objectives of this video? Well, how to add roots to our tic-tac-toe application in React and Redux. So, we will have three parts, an index page with a welcome message, a new game page, and a continue game page. How to add a connection to a backend service to get data and load a safe game. How to add a form for settings the player, the player name. So we will use an input field and, how, and see how we can control the state. And finally, we will add some styles to the application for it to look better. <coughs> Let's see the final application. This is the final application. We have a game, we have a header, and we have our full single page application. Let's divide it into components and see how it works. Well, we have our root component that has everything inside. It is the Redux provider. Inside the Redux provider, of course, we have this H1 here, but then but the, below it we have header, a header component where the user can choose between different navigation links, home, new game, or continue, and below it we have main component. The main component will render either our home here or an input field for the user to fill in the player name. This is the game component but without a player name and when the player sets the name we get the name with a hello. And finally we've, get, we've got the continue is the same game component the, so the, the main will render the game component with a continue param and the game component will perform an Ajax call to a backend service. So we can see here an input field and an Ajax call. Everything inside our, our single page application. All together with this routing possibility to choose different routes in our application. Just to summarize very briefly, we will add roots to our tic-tac-toe application, three possibilities, three roots, index, new game, and continue. We will add a backend service, a call, an Ajax call to a backend where we will have a saved game, and a form, just for setting for the user to set the player name. And finally, some styles for it to look as you have seen. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos.